You might be wondering why we see two completely different things during a solar and a lunar eclipse. At certain times the moon completely blocks our view of the sun. And at other times we just see a completely different color of our moon. Sometimes we see a blood red moon, sometimes a yellow moon. Why does this happen? So how does a solar eclipse happen? A solar eclipse happens when the moon passes in front of the earth and the sun, thus blocking all the sunlight coming from the sun. And so instead of seeing the sun, what you see is the thin crust of the sun, a thin crust and in between a big black moon. And that is a solar eclipse. It happens when the earth, moon and sun are in complete alignment, when they are coplanar. When a solar eclipse, all you see is that outer corona, the coronosphere of the sun. From the edge of the moon. A lunar eclipse is completely different from a solar one in terms of both duration and location. First of all, a lunar eclipse occurs when the moon moves within the Earth's shadow, also known as the umbra or penumbra of the Earth. When the moon moves within the Earth's shadow, what you might see is a different colored moon, like a blood red moon. Why does this happen? Well, when the moon moves within the Earth's shadow, sunlight skitters off the Earth's atmosphere and so the only light that reaches the moon is the really strange frequency light. That's the red light. And so that red light reaches the moon and so you end up with a blood red moon. And that's how a lunar eclipse works. Eclipses are very interesting natural phenomena. As a kid, I used to wonder what would be the differences between the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse. Good question. The difference between a solar eclipse and a lunar one has to do with two main factors. Length or duration and location. So first of all, length. A lunar eclipse is much longer than a solar one. A solar eclipse may last for seven to eight minutes before the moon starts getting out of the sun's way and starts letting uh, little slivers of sunlight through. Whereas a lunar eclipse may last for two, maybe even two and a half hours which, uh, because the moon stays in the Earth's shadow for that amount of time within the Earth's umbra and penumbra. Now, also you have to consider location. Uh, a lunar eclipse can be viewed by anyone during the night side, uh, in the nighttime uh, side of the Earth, whereas a solar eclipse is very, very picky. Only people in a certain location in the US uh, or around the world can view a solar eclipse because those are the locations where the moon's shadow falls and where you can view a total solar eclipse. So that's why it's much harder to view a total solar eclipse than a lunar eclipse. And at the same time, it's also uh, you need more equipment to view a solar eclipse because you may hurt your eyes, your retinas while viewing a solar eclipse. In a solar eclipse, even though the sun is covered, as soon as the moon starts moving out of the way and starts letting tiny slivers of sunlight through, that can do even that amount of small tiny sunlight can do damage to your retinas. Uh, and you cannot expect when the moon will start moving out of the sun's way, uh, out of the, the shadow. And so that's why you have to be prepared with uh, sun goggles or sun spotting lenses to help cover your retinas and your eyes just in case that happens. Whereas in a uh, lunar eclipse, you can just view the moon unobstructed, right? Because there's no uh, damaging radiation entering your retinas. Uh, so lunar eclipse, you can do whatever you want. Solar eclipse, you've got to bring on some equipment. Uh, and also you've got to be picky about your location and about your timing. So those are the two main differences between solar and lunar eclipse. Uh, eclipse, length and location. How can the moon cover up the sun during a solar eclipse when the sun is so much bigger than the moon? Good question. The reason why the moon covers up the sun during a solar eclipse, even though the moon is much smaller than the sun, is due to the formula for apparent size in the universe. Apparent size for celestial objects is determined by two factors, size and distance. It's due to a major cosmic coincidence that the moon covers up the sun during a total lunar uh, solar eclipse. First of all, the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun, but it's also 400 times closer, thus compensating for the fact that it's much smaller than the sun. That's why the moon covers up the sun during a total solar eclipse. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed the third episode of Barry Science Lab Astronomy. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Eclipses. We'll check you out in the next one.